Worldwide, according to World Health Organization estimates, about 6 to 7 million people are infected with Chagas disease. Para controlar el vector necesita continuidad y contiguidad, no parar siempre y una acción al lado de la otra. Calmly and convinced, Jorge Nazir, head of the Chagas program in the Argentine province of Santiago del Estero, presents his well-defined credo. The fight against the disease carriers, the kissing bug called Vinchuca, must be operated without interruption and with interlocking actions. The nocturnal blood-sucking bugs themselves are no danger to humans, but they carry the pathogen of the Chagas disease, the protozoon Trypanosoma cruzi. The Vinchukas bite people, mammals, reptiles and birds. They do it usually unnoticed in areas of the body where the skin is thinner, as for example on the lips or in the environment of the eyes. They then suck blood and defecate. The actual infection does not occur through the bite, but by rubbing the feces contaminated with pathogens into the wound or into uninjured mucous membrane. Jorge Nazir's colleague, Dr. Ledesma Patino, has since 2005 been managing the regional Chagas Center in Santiago del Estero, capital of the province of the same name. Located in the far north of Argentina, the land is one of the six provinces with the highest risk of transmission of the disease. El denominador común que es lo que predomina en este lugar, es la vivienda, la vivienda es clave, es la vivienda rancho, de las cuales Santiago tiene el triste privilegio de tener muchas viviendas en estas condiciones. Más les diría, en el estudio que hacemos nosotros, hay ya 70.000 viviendas rancho, en un estudio que hacemos entre el 2005 y el 2006, el 52% estaban infectados con vinchuca. Since vinchucas spread from house to house, it makes no sense to fumigate one home today than another a hundred kilometers away, Nazir insists, seated in his blazing red office. El trabajo tiene que ser programado. Si comienzo en esta zona, tengo que hacer un barrido lineal, ¿no es cierto?, para poder asegurarme de que no va a haber traslado de vinchuca o no, o no, o no, o no me va a quedar ninguna vivienda sin tratar. Una vivienda que pueda llegar a quedar sin tratar es un problema sanitario grave. ¿Por qué? Porque si esa, esa vivienda tiene vinchuca, ¿no es cierto?, me va a reinfestar la zona en un corto plazo. Argentina's National Chagas Program has been pursuing this idea with varying success since 1961. During the first two decades after its launch, its ranks swelled to include over 2,000 technicians. Furnished with an overall budget of about 100 million dollars, they battled with Vinchukas in 19 of the country's provinces. In addition, in the early 1990s, more than 15,000 health sector employees and city officials were trained to assist the technicians. As a result, prior to 2000, insecticides were sprayed in a million homes. The infestation of houses by Triatoma infestans, the Vinchuca's scientific name, was indeed reduced from 6.1% in 1992 to 1.2% 1 in 1999. In that year, the number of clinically verifiable cases of acute Chagas disease amounted sensationally to no more than two. Yet, as the program's official website concedes, budget cutbacks due to the financial crisis in 2001 and poor management quickly nullified this success. However, for some time, Chagas is back on the political agenda again. In Argentina, desde hace muchísimos años, existe lo que se llama el control vectorial, pero desde aproximadamente el año 2009, Argentina ha enfrentado fuertemente el control vectorial de manera de que las todas las provincias de nuestro país puedan cortar la transmisión y esperamos poder realizarlo o que la transmisión se corte en aproximadamente unos 3-4 años más. 
In this respect, Jorge Nazir's Chagas program in Santiago del Estero seems like the blueprint for a thoughtful and systematically executed plan for controlling the disease's vector. He has 300 staff at his disposal, 36 delivery vans, 40 motorbikes and the necessary funds for their upkeep. A rare privilege, ascribable among other things to the fact that Dr. Ledesma Patino's power of persuasion has brought the governor of the province to grasp the importance of the issue and give sufficient support to the Chagas program. 28 days each month, Jorge's teams fan out from their headquarters in the provincial capital Santiago. Their white pickups creep through the congested streets of the Madre de Ciudades, the mother of all cities, that was founded in 1553. Santiago is the oldest uninterruptedly inhabited settlement in all of Argentina. Driving first along properly asphalted highways, later down dusty dirt roads, the teams crisscross Argentina's poorhouse. The per capita economic performance in Santiago del Estero is the lowest in the entire country and lies about 60% below the national average. Sporadic solitary trees, head-high cacti and barbed thorn bushes line the unswervingly straight road that slices through the broad swathes of steppe. Following a designated plan, the men cope the land. They drive from village to village, from farm to farm, identifying the precise position of each dwelling by GPS. They then feed the data into their mobile computers that are connected with a data bank at headquarters maintained by the statistician Isabel Escosa. The data bank contains all 52,000 farms and 18,000 precarious dwellings in the province, categorized according to departamento and place. Sebastian Berna, responsible for referencing the data, visualizes the continuously updated status of all houses throughout the province on his computer-generated map. Que indican presencia de vinchuca en el peridomicilio. Las casas color naranja, en este caso aquí, me, pre, me indican presencia de vinchucas en el intradomicilio. Y las casas de color rojo son las casas que han tenido presencia de domicilio tanto en el, en el peri como en el intradomicilio. The mobile units deliver all the samples of vinchucas found in the inspected houses and immediate surroundings to the program's entomological laboratory to be identified and examined. Sebastian's colleague Carmen categorizes the samples according to Isabel's lists. Estos son las planillas. Eh, viene por número de vivienda, nombre y apellido del propietario, si cargan datos personales como la edad, el grupo familiar, si hay menores o no, cuánto. Y la parte nuestra que estamos encargados es realizar más que nada la parte entomológica, que es lo que se hace en el laboratorio. Los chicos, por cada muestra que traen, tienen que especificar si la muestra que traen es de intra o de peri. A nosotros mucho más nos interesa la muestra de intra, porque el caso positivo, más que nada, va a ser evaluado si llega a dar positivo en intra. O sea, se hace el análisis entomológico especificando más que nada en intra domicilio. The triatoma infestans is the type of vinchuca mostly encountered in houses in Santiago del Estero. But the teams have also found representatives of other species such as Triatoma guasayana. After their type has been identified, the bugs are then examined for any incidence of the Trypanosoma cruzi, the pathogen of Chagas disease. To this end, each specimen is held down with tweezers, while pressure is applied to its abdomen to squeeze out the feces. Under a microscope, the pathogen in the specimen can be detected from its shape and quick movement. If the vinchucas are infected with the parasite, Jorge can instantly tell from the recorded GPS coordinates which house the bug was found in and alert one of the mobile units. <laughs> 
porque cada chaga es agudo vectorial, es decir, que porque le picó la minchuca, ¿no es cierto?, nos aparece, sabemos de que hay cuatro o cinco ocultos sin manifestación y que mi personal esté atento a esa vivienda y que cada tres meses me esté supervisando, controlando, evaluando y que si encuentra vector fumigue, yo me voy a asegurar de que mi población no se va a infectar de chagas. The old farmer Alejandro, for example, is completely overwhelmed by all the effort being expended over his health. To begin with, the members of the vector monitoring team inform the gaunt man dressed in baggy threadbare clothes and supported by a walking stick about their intended course of action. Then, equipped with protective suits, helmets, breathing masks and gloves, they comb the old man's ramshackle house looking for vinchucas. By the light of their torches, they inspect the charred remains of wood and rubbish, brush aside impenetrably tangled laps of dense, dust-encrusted cobwebs, rummage inside cupboards and chests of drawers. They finish by taking all the beds, tables, chairs and clothes outside. Over and again, with bewilderment written all over his weather-beaten face, Alejandro exclaims, all this just for my sake and offers effusive thanks. In the courtyard, a technician has been preparing the insecticide solution and now starts spraying indoors throughout the house, especially where the walls are cracked or show signs of mold around loose floor tiles and under the straw roof pitted with holes. Nosotros en Argentina usamos productos químicos a base de piretroide, es decir, que es un producto que no daña la salud humana no daña a los animales que pueden haber dentro de la, de la vivienda y que tiene una acción residual dentro del domicilio de aproximadamente seis meses. Lo mismo hacen en el periodomicilio. Corrales, gallineros, galpones, también sacan todos los elementos y se aplica el insecticida una baja residualidad, es decir, la acción de, de eliminar el vector dura aproximadamente siete días, después se degrada por el viento, por el clima, por la lluvia, y eso se baja. Six months later, the same procedure is repeated with equal thoroughness. This is necessary because while all the fully grown insects and nymphs, in other words, the young bugs, are killed in the first treatment, the vinchuca's eggs are not. Within six months, these will have hatched into insects, but are still not ready to lay eggs during this period. Hence, it is only after the team's second visit that the vinchucas in the house can be properly brought under control. But as with all the other houses throughout the province, entomological assessments here will be still carried out twice a year. If vinchucas continue to be encountered inside a building, the team will again spray insecticides indoors as well as in a radius of 500 meters. Por qué? Porque la vinchuca, ¿no es cierto? puede llegar a moverse por noche hasta 600 metros. Entonces, si yo rocío esta casa y 500 metros a la redonda, estoy haciendo un círculo sanitario protegiendo realmente a esta vivienda. Pero, si yo en, en ese círculo vuelvo a encontrar otra vivienda de 500 metros, vuelvo a hacer el círculo de 500 metros. But the mobile vector hunters of the Chagas program are not the only ones on the lookout for vinchucas. The population has also been enlisted to contribute. Wherever possible, every incidence of the bugs should be immediately reported. With long lines of dust trailing in their wake, the mobile education teams in their pickups clatter through the bleak step. At regular intervals, they visit round about 1,800 small rural schools, teaching school children about the infection, risks and consequences of Chagas disease. The children attentively study the hand-painted charts that vividly depict the full cycle of the infection, from the unknowing sleeping victim to the biting bug, the pathogen in its feces and the reddened swollen areas of skin around the bite. Chanting in unison, they dutifully recite their newly acquired insights. The idea being that they then share these with their families at home. A nivel de programas pilotos que hicimos aquí, por ejemplo, en el año 80, determinamos que los niños en las escuelas son el factor de cambio y la motivación para el adulto para que conozca la enfermedad, 
para que transmitan a sus gentes de sus alrededores lo que significa la enfermedad y eso es lo que los motiva a la consulta. The fact that people actively come to be examined is a reassuring certainty, because the living conditions of the rural population harbors a number of risks which they have no idea of. The subtropical climate and inordinately high temperatures in Santiago del Estero abet the proliferations of vinchucas. The old straw-roofed farmhouses built of rough mud bricks like Alejandro's, with unglazed windows, open doorways and countless cracks in the walls, offer the bugs free access and perfect hiding places. This is exacerbated by the people's habit of letting animals like dogs, goats and chickens live in and around the houses. The animals' feces and urine are nourishment to the bugs, hence an even greater attraction to invade. In addition, twice a year all residents of the province are called upon to scour their houses for vinchucas and report any findings immediately. Y se trabaja en forma coordinada con puestos sanitarios, postas sanitarias, hospitales, escuela, policía, iglesias, todos tienen nuestro número de teléfono para que nos avisen automáticamente o a nosotros acá a la dirección que respondemos automáticamente o a las bases que tenemos distribuida en toda la provincia de Santiago del Estero. De esa manera nos estamos asegurando que todos estos departamentos que están libres de transmisión vectorial, es decir, de que no tenemos vinchucas que están transfiriendo el parásito para producir la infección chagásica, no tengamos en esos departamentos. This procedure, organized so meticulously that it feels almost pedantic, is essential because it takes just a single house infested with vinchucas to reinfect an entire area within a brief period of time. Normally, a building harbors several hundred vinchucas whose female representatives will lay up to 200 eggs and thereby cause the vector population to proliferate continuously and at lightning speed. For this reason, Sebastian Berna's data bank also lists the greatest potential sources of risk. We have also classified what houses are ranchos, what houses are precarious, que casas son, este, digamos, de, de, de materiales, ya o sea cemento, ladrillo, que por lo general son las que son muy poca, muy poca presencia de vinchucas. Since the inhabitants of these houses, however often they are informed, frequently do not follow the advice given by the education teams, whether out of thoughtlessness or simply because they are too poor to improve their living conditions. The Argentinian government has come up with a very opposite solution. Cuando viene el personal al programa de Chaga, nosotros tomamos todos esos datos y pasamos al Ministerio de Desarrollo Social de la provincia de Santiago del Estero y automáticamente hay un programa que se, que se denomina, ¿no es cierto?, construcción de viviendas, que es la eliminación de las viviendas ranchos. Ya en Santiago del Estero desde hace unos años se viene aplicando en forma coordinada con el programa de Chagas, se vienen eliminando los, las viviendas tipo rancho, techo de paja, paredes de barro, todo eso se elimina. Eso el gobierno le da en forma gratuita a, a los pobladores, ¿no es cierto?, para que de, de, de esta manera tener una casa digna, con menos posibilidades de tener vinchucas. En algunas provincias de nuestro país el reemplazo de la casa rancho por una casa de material donde la vinchuca no pueda anidar fácilmente hace que eh, en, esas, en esos lugares la transmisión prácticamente no exista. O sea que una de las cosas determinantes son los cambios socioeconómicos. En el programa Chaga tenemos un lema, no existen viviendas anti vinchuca, existen familias anti vinchucas porque yo puedo darle una vivienda en excelentes condiciones, pero si el poblador no limpia, no ordena, no cuida, la vinchuca se va a meter. But once a mobile vector eradication team has completed its work, or all the old farmhouses have been replaced by new buildings, a place is declared free of vinchucas. Thereafter, a mobile medical team visits the local school and, with the parents' consent, takes samples of all the children's blood. Younger, preschool children are visited for testing at home. The teams are tirelessly on the move, driving down the sandy tracks through the sun-scorched, shimmering steppe. 
Many of the small, widely scattered farms now already consist of new, full plasters and tidily maintained buildings with animals deliberately kept apart from the house. The visited families listen almost reverently to information that for them is often entirely new. After this, suspiciously observed by all those present, blood tests are performed on the children and, in case of doubt, on the adults too. Thus, to date in Santiago del Estero, more than 80,000 school children and some 19,000 children below the age of 5 have been examined. All those who tested positive were immediately treated against Chagas disease. Si hacemos un corte, por ejemplo, el año 1980, nosotros teníamos en ese momento 6% de niñitos infectados de esa edad, en promedio en toda la provincia. Hoy tenemos seis departamentos declarados libres de transmisión. Y en los niños que van en el periodo escolar de 5 a 14 años, es muy baja la infectación y la incidencia está entre el 1 y el 1,2%. Despite this excellent result, Jorge Nazir urges Nunca vamos a eliminar el vector, pero sí podemos controlar, tenerlo a niveles de que no van a afectar a la salud de los pobladores de, de, de las zonas rurales fundamentalmente.